morning this is soft pastel colors in the sky I'm in the wrong location really for sunrise that wasn't the plan this morning <clears throat> um, I've come to this little area of woodland and um, just on the outskirts of a town called Cinderford and it's absolutely stunning I ran through here um, a couple of weeks back and I'd never come through here before and I've never been here with a camera and there's some just absolutely spectacular trees everywhere dotted around this side of the track and that side of the track and i've just spotted something further down in the distance there a tree i think it's an oak tree it looks amazing so we're going to go and explore down there a little bit but yeah had a beautiful sunrise and obviously it's not the coast is it i will get to the coast I promise <laughs> just not yet the tree I was talking about is absolutely stunning. Oak tree, as I said. Massive, massive oak tree. Absolutely stunning. Love the way it's just leaning over. It's obviously grown like that, as you can tell. <laughs> That's an obvious statement if I've ever done one. But incredible. Incredible. I always find trees like this or scenes like this really hard to sort of process at first. And I just sort of wander around them a little bit just to try and get a better understanding of the area. Beautiful fir tree behind us are. Well. And some really twisted pine trees over there. Very nice. I think there's a birch tree just here as well. Here it is. But yeah, I find this, I'm going to try and capture this somehow, but I haven't actually decided from what angle yet. I don't really want the sky in, so this is definitely going to be like a, a test shot. Capture this now and then this is definitely one to visit when we've got some really nice fog to just separate those the background completely absolutely beautiful right i don't know if you will just watch me stand and stare let's crack on with this flat at the moment so it doesn't really help the scene. Um, I've taken two shots with my phone so I'm gonna get the camera out now and I'll take those shots again. Okay so I'm crouched down under this sort of uh, silver birch here and trying to shoot up at this oak tree. I think it adds more um, dimension to the scene simply because the oak tree is leaning over um, so shooting sort of up at it slightly increases its sort of prominence and its sort of dominance in the scene as well. Um, oh, I'm not keen on the, there's a little bit of sky that's coming in, which I think is really distracting, but there's no way of me eliminating it without cutting off lots of the tree. 
and I've already cut quite a lot off of the very top because it's just in open in the open sky basically there's no sort of tree canopy above it um, but yeah so I'm shooting at f8 and I'm focusing on the tree the main tree trunk um, and it's given me an exposure time of a second and that's at ISO 100 and there's not a breath of wind at the moment here so I mean, there's no leaves moving I haven't got a problem with any movement at all so a two second timer um, yeah I'll, uh, I'll stick it up on the screen and let me know what you think again it's not I don't think it's a you know amazing composition here but if we had some fog that went through the background which would then blend that little bit of sky to the background that that would then start to work really well um but yeah it's a beautiful tree a beautiful scene beautiful tree and it's not worth capturing it anyway regardless of the faults of the composition but yeah i'll stick it up on the screen let me know what you think Is that some kind of bird? I got a clue. didn't quite get the conditions that I was hoping for this morning. It was promised fog, hence why I came to this location. Uh, we missed a good sunrise. Hmm. Don't trust the weather. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it was good to get out. Really enjoyed it. And just spending a couple of hours down in the woodland. It was really good. But I've got another location now that I can come back to when I know the weather is gonna be very good. So we need fog or some really nice side lighting for that scene, I think. But let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, please do consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. But yeah, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.